Ashley and today we are going to be going over some of our favorite summer activities that we've been doing in quarantine. But before we do, don't forget to give this video a like, subscribe to our channel, and hit that notification bell to become part of the family. With that said, let's just get into it. Let's go swimming. Annie, are you ready to go swimming? Yes. Yay. Are you ready? activity that we're gonna do is something really cool. We have a thing of ice that has clay dinosaurs in it and we have balloons that I did last night and we're gonna open them and they have dinosaurs in them. And the object of the game is to have Annie get the dinosaur out. Whoa. Now Sawyer can do this too, but he's still in the pool. <laughs> you can also, if you don't have balloons, you can actually use Easter eggs to do it too, or you can just do the iceberg, um, and we tried both. So what you do is, is you freeze the dinosaurs, and then you take droppers, which we got these droppers off of Amazon. I'll link it down in the description below. But the object of this activity is to hatch the eggs. And by hatching the eggs, we're going to be taking the squirter and the water that Annie just got out of the pool, and we're going to melt them. And I'm going to throw a couple of these near Sawyer. So you take it, and you go like that, and you squirt water on it. Take the dropper. This is what the dinosaurs look like when they are in their egg. And as if you can see, it's already starting to melt. We did a little bit too many. I got too excited over this. Um, but I recommend doing like three per kid and see now they're starting to come out. See, it's starting to come out. So this is a great summer quarantine activity to do. Um, as you can see, Annie is determined to get the dinosaurs out. And in a little bit, we'll show you another activity. You can use dinosaurs, or if you don't have dinosaurs and have uh, farm animals, farm animals will do well in the next activity. This activity is science-based. It's also teaching um, about dinosaurs, and you can go into deep uh, detail if your kid is older on what the dinosaur names are and it also is teaching about temperatures the difference between cold and hot and Annie wants to move on to her the next one which we're going to also use these ones too with this activity use at your your discretion i'm gonna trust her with this but uh you take a hammer and you just have them break it. Okay, right, and hold it with two hands. Okay? Wow. What's happening to the ice, Annie? No. It's breaking. No, wow. Here, Sawyer. Oh. Wow. What's happening to the ice, Annie? No. I'm 
It's breaking, right. Hit it hard. Hit it hard. for the kids and adults. <laughs> so all you need is cornstarch, water, and if you want food coloring. And with the food coloring, if you dye it brown, then you get to do the next activity, what we're gonna do with it. So first, we're going to put some cornstarch in the bowl. So any can I see your bowl, please? And a little bit goes a long way. And then you're gonna put water in it. Food, and you're gonna mix it all up. Now, I know that I will need more cornstarch. Too much. Keep going, honey. Mix it. Now, you want it to look and feel kind of like goo. Hence the name goop. Now, other people call it different things. I call it goop. And then all you do is you just mix it around. Is it hard any? Yeah. Here, let me see. Let me see yours. You need more cornstarch. And this is edible. It may not taste great, but it is edible. So it's not harmful for kids or anything like that. And see, if you could see Annie's, hers is becoming very goopy. And that's what we want, huh, Annie? <laughs> All right, so I think the goo is just about watery enough, but hard enough to add our food coloring. So Annie, what color would you like? Would you like yellow, green, blue, or red? Red. Red, okay, can I see it please? Yours is a little bit. All right, so then now I'm gonna add the food color. Now before you touch it, you gotta blend it in. So all I'm doing is I'm mixing it in. And I recommend that the, uh, the adult um, does the food coloring just because food coloring get, does uh, stain. Once it's in the goop, it doesn't get on clothes. And with goop, you can actually store it in a Ziploc bag it's good for a little while, um, and you can reuse it. All you have to do is add a teeny bit of water and like mix a little bit more cornstarch with it to make it more uh, lively. But other than that, it's really, really fun for them to do, and it, it's also a science experiment. It is messy, but it is a very fun um, sensory activity as well, and it shows what happens to a powder 
when you mix water with it. So it's really interesting and really fun. And if, as you see, Annie is dipping her hands in it and is enjoying it. So um, I'm going to let Annie play with it for a little bit, and then we're going to move on to our next activity that also has to do with goop. one day and then the kids want to play with it again here's another fun activity that you can use with goop and with this activity you can use any type of animals um, or any type of figurine you want we have we have dinosaurs and we also have a couple of barnyard animals so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna mix it and make it You don't have to change the color, but it's fun to have, let them have a little bit of an imagination with it. We want it to look like mud because what we're going to do is we're going to put the animals inside of it and have the animals play in mud. So now that it is literally brown, I'm going to give it back to Annie and I'm going to let her pick her animals. So what animals do you want, Annie? Do you want dinosaurs or do you want the animals? Animals. Animals? Okay. There you go. <laughs> Wow, you're putting all of the animals in it. Wow. One animal is a us. <laughs> Alright Annie, to clean up, Annie is going to take this water and put the animals in it and clean them. Can you clean them? They're dirty and they need a bath. Awesome job. I'm going to show the camera real quick on how it looks. The goop. I'm going to show you this. So, this is what it looks like when it's in the container, right? But when you go to grab it, it's kind of hard. And then it like goops down. All right, guys, so it's been a little while. The kids actually took a rest. Sawyer took a nap, and we are now changed and ready for our last activity, and that is we are going to be making a homemade obstacle course. Now, just so you guys know, some of these products are the things that we have, but you can substitute it with pretty much anything. So with that said, I'm gonna show you what I have and a couple of things that you can substitute it with. Right here, I broke up one pool noodle. Now, Jason and I, we got these pool noodles from Amazon. It was like a six pack, very highly rated. Or you can actually just substitute it and have the kids use a ruler or any type of stick kind of object that you guys have. The next, the cool in the obstacle course is just making baskets in their little tykes basketball hoop and you can do it with just bouncing the ball or anything that gets them playing with the ball um, essentially is what we want. We have their little tykes trampoline and then they jump on that which you can have them just jump in place if you don't have a trampoline or if you want to try it i will link it down below then we got this little table it comes with four chairs i put a, one of annie's blankets over it and the obstacle is that they have to crawl underneath it 
and then Annie is over there sitting there waiting patiently to do it. We have them go over here, climb up here, and then jump on their beanbag chair. These are things that we have in our playroom. And then we have them make a goal. So usually the ball would be like right here and then Annie would kick it in. And then final thing, but the funnest thing, we have them climb up their little tyke slide and go down into the pool. Now if you notice it, it's the same pool that we used outside. So all of these activities are activities that are multi-purpose, just like the goop, just like the pool. We reuse everything, especially in quarantine and you can't really find anything. That is a great tip is try to get activities that essentially go with the things that you already have in your home. So with that said, let's just get into it and let them do their in-home obstacle course. You ready, Annie? Annie, are you ready to do it? Yes. Okay, ready, set, go. I think we're gonna end today's vlog. I will be linking all the, the products that we use today in the description below. But I wanted to also ask Annie what her favorite thing was today. What did you like to do? What what activity did you like today? The goop. Really? What else? Um, dinosaurs. I think the dinosaurs. Which one? The the dropper or the hammer? Hello. The hammer, yeah. And with the hammer game, please use parental guidance with it. <laughs> and remember family, like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell to become part of the family. Until then, have a family-filled day and we'll talk to you in our next video. See you later.